For over a century, the Workmen's Circle has carried the torch for Jewish American commitment to social and economic justice, founded on a single principle, that when we stand together for freedom, equality, and economic justice for all, we are strong, even more important today than it ever was. So at this year's celebration, it is fitting that they will be presenting activist and Pulitzer Prize winning playwright Tony Kushner, best known, of course, for his play Angels in America, Gay Fantasia on National Themes, with its Activism and Jewish Culture Award. And we're delighted to have joining us now Ann Toback, who is the Workman Circle Executive Director, and, as I said, Tony and Pulitzer Prize winning playwright Tony Kushner. Nice to have you both here nice with us. Thank you. Great to be here. Let me ask you to start, Ann, and tell us about the Workman Circle. How did it get started? What was the so, idea behind um, it? The Workman Circle was founded in 1900 by Eastern European immigrants. They came to America, New York specifically, this group, and um, they were escaping from economic and, and political oppression. They had hoped to find a country that welcomed them. Um, they didn't find that. <laughs> Surprise and, and somewhat um, prescient to today's um, right. story, right? They found a country where there were very harsh conditions, you know, difficult housing, punitive salaries, unsafe job sites. And um, they quickly came together and formed the Workmen's Circle as a community of activists, both to help them transition into American life, but also to together be a collective voice for change, for progressive change. Oftentimes we see organizations that have been started a significant period ago. And you know, a century for us is a long time ago right. with our country. I think so. <laughs> How has the Workmen's Circle, if it has at all, changed in the 100 years since it was created? Well, we've changed enormously in that we started out a fraternal benefit society. We started out helping immigrants become Americans. Today, we are Americans mostly, although there's some people from other countries involved. But we are working together as a community of activists with the same values that our founders had, now fighting for a better world for all for immigrants who today may be coming from Syria or Mexico or Guatemala. In the 1930s and 40s, we were fighting for immigrants who were coming from Eastern Europe, our grandparents or aunts, uncles, friends. So the values that we're fighting for remain constant, but how we do it is different. And now we're a social justice organization of activists. So when you listen to Anne talk about the creation of this organization and, and what they were, the obstacles they were looking to surmount, it sounds an awful lot like themes in your writings. You and I were talking about, we, we saw Angels recently, and you talk about the, the timelessness of themes. Well, I mean, you know, the play begins with a, a rabbi talking about uh, immigration. Immigration is a theme throughout the play. In the uh, second part in Perestroika, the angel's message, when she finally arrives to deliver it, is called the anti-migratory epistle. It's a demand that human beings stop migrating. Um, it's kind of a reactionary thing. The similarities uh, and the reason that it means so much to me that the Workman's Circle asked me to participate in this year's uh, gala this way is, is that uh, uh, I'm, I'm as or is true of every Jew in the United States and of Jews pretty much everywhere uh, because we've lived in a diaspora for 2,000 years. We're immigrant. We're people, uh, wandering people. Um, and uh, diaspora and people. Uh, we share that with many other groups in the world. And the sense of having arrived from some place uh, to your current home, uh, the sense of both the importance of home and the impermanence of home, mm -hmm. right. uh, the sense of, of home. I mean, you know, these people that arrived that formed the Workman Circle, as Anne was just saying, met, you know, a very difficult uh, set of circumstances. They also met a uh, land with Tremendous opportunity and the 14th Amendment, mm -hmm. <laughs> the possibility uh, of, of a secular society in which everyone was entitled to equal protection under the law. And they were very smart people and people with a profound sense of a central Jewish mandate, which is you use your brains, you use your, your inborn ethical compass, you use your community and the bearings that it gives you in the world to try and figure out what the world means and, and what we're meant to do in the world. And, and how we make the world better. Judaism is not a religion that looks primarily to the world to come. It's very focused on what are you doing here Today. in the here yeah. and now. Yeah. And groups like the Workman's Circle are, uh, you know, um, both part of our history but also part of our contemporary reality. I'm enormously proud 
of the uh, way in which the Jewish American community has remained uh, steadfastly progressive. There are times that we screw up. Uh, we, uh, <laughs> we can say that about part, anybody. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but we vote 75% Democrat, and <laughs> mostly, I think that there's a there's an ongoing commitment to this because we understand that mm. we've done as well as we've done because of the uh, possibilities that we now don't want to see denied to other people. Right. Talk about the award. And how's sure. it come about? And, and, and then you got a great story about the how it happened. Perfect choice. Yes. Um, the, the Workman Circle Activism and Jewish Culture Award. So it's an award we give to somebody whose work embodies our values and really inspires us to work for a better world every day of the year, because that's, that's really important today. So uh, Tony Kushner, I mean, I have to say the full name was mm -hmm. sort of on our, on our minds. Oh, really, from the minute I came to the Workman Circle 10 years ago, I was inspired by your work. And your work, in some ways, inspired me to come to the Workman Circle. Even your, your work with Maurice Sendak, um, doing Brundebar and, and other pieces. Um, there's the, so much of Tony's work is rooted in this Jewish cultural heritage and the Jewish tradition of activism, which is so important to me to, and to the Workman Circle today. It inspires us to stand up and speak out. So we were talking um, this past summer, I had um, two nights back to back, um, the privilege, truly the privilege to see Angels in America on Broadway. And I tell you, however many hours, I don't know, it went so quickly. It was sort of like you, bre you breathed and it was over. And you, it's astonishing how, it how quickly it, it went because it's it a, really you look at it saying, this is a long period of time. And, you felt that and then, oh, and then after you watch like, it, you oh say, God, it's going you watch it and you say, I can't believe it's over. How, it, it really how was it? like that. Um, so you're watching it. And I was there with um, somebody who's on our board who's also a judge. And we looked at each other after you know, any break we had and I said, this is the workman circle. These are our values on stage. The activism shining this light on homophobia, um, on anti-Semitism. I mean, Tony's work ranges on racism. I mean, not all at once, but um, it's there. And the Yiddish, the Yiddish kite, the values of our, of our heritage, front and center. And we said to each other, why aren't we honoring him? <laughs> And sort of one of those head slap moments saying, well, of he, course we should do is, that. He is us, and his work is inspiring everybody who connects with it. Well, again, and delight to talk with you and Thank the good you. work that you're doing, and, and Tony, just a real privilege spending some time with it's you. Lovely Congratulations to be here. on this. Thanks this so much. Thank you. Thank you both for joining us. And a reminder for all of you out there for more information on the Workman Circle, you can please visit us at metrofocus.org.